Johnny Knoxville. He is very popular. He is going to be with us in 12 minutes to talk about his new movie uh, about Action Park, uh, called by many Traction Park. It's Stu Gatz's childhood. He once did a 30 for 30. Uh, these are all facts. These are factual things <laughs> that were in the 30 for 30 that Stu Gatz did a preview for. What if I told you that from 1978 to 1998, it was a water park that regularly killed patrons but had the survivors longing to come back? That on its opening day, over 100 swimmers were saved from the wave pool. That the wave pool was often referred to as the grave pool. That employees were described as underaged, undertrained, and often under the influence. That ride designers may have had insufficient training in physics and engineering. That a guest once said, they seemed to build rides not knowing how they would work and then let people on them. That during testing of the cannonball loop, dummies were thrown in and repeatedly came out decapitated. That the ride was altered until the dummies came out intact. That park employees were then offered $100 to test it out themselves. That the park owner purchased additional ambulances for the town to keep up with incidents at the park. That after all of these incidents, the park was only fined once. ESPN Films presents A 30 for 30, where a successful day at Action Park wasn't measured in fun, it was measured in survival. <laughs> You're, I, I read an interview with you. I was stunned that you thought it was wisdom, the form of wisdom. Your therapist say, first of all, I was amazed that you were in therapy, but then beyond that, that you thought it wise that your therapist said, uh, Johnny, think before you act. <laughs> like and that you thought that that, that how is it possible that's that a that's fortune not some, cookie johnny uh, yeah how is it possible that you had not <laughs> considered that before that's how that's how far gone i was that that concept did not even occur to me i was like that's brilliant <laughs> so how did but you in all honesty for action point i stopped therapy because i knew i was going to be doing a lot of stunts and having to go to a pretty uh, crazy place. So I was like, maybe uh, it doesn't make sense to, to do what I'm about to do and do therapy. They kind of fight each other. Well, I'm reading also that you suffered a lot of different injuries while filming Action Point. It's in theaters this Friday. You want to just give us the short list? Oh, uh, the uh, four concussions, broke my hand, busted my meniscus, whiplash stitches. Uh, lost a few teeth, uh, broke the ethnoid lamina bone in my face, which caused two blowout fractures of my left eye. Uh, when I read about the left Hello? eye, it was a little yeah, more yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just we're, we're recoiling. Yeah. We're recoiling. That silence you heard was <laughs> yes. was fear. And uh, but but even, I thought you were going to keep going with the eye because it gets worse, right? Uh, well, that's with the blowout fracture. Yeah, it was when I went back to the hotel. My uh, I had a little blood in my nose from the emergency room and the concussion that I just received doing a stunt. And when I blew my nose, my left eye popped out of its socket. And I had to go back to the emergency room. And what do you think in those moments, Johnny? In those moments, you don't think, you just act. I, I saw my eye pop out, and I was terrified, and I popped it back in and went back to the hospital. What do you You're mean not you... expecting that when you blow your nose, you know? Ah! Yeah. I mean, what do you mean you popped it back in? Like, take us through that. What do you mean you popped it back ah! in? You picked it up off the floor, you no, popped it, it back no, in? No, it doesn't come. It didn't disappear. No, it wasn't okay. hanging. I stopped. If I would if I would have kept blowing my nose, I would have pushed it all the way out. Because oh. what had happened, unbeknownst <laughs> to me, oh. I had powdered the my bone in my face. So I was blowing air behind my eye when I blew my and blowing it out of its socket. And it went way past Marty Feldman. And then I popped it back in. All right, he's dedicated to the cause. His new movie, Action Point, which you should see. So you should see it because <laughs> if you can see it because of what he just said.
Johnny, this uh, this park was such a big part of my childhood. I'm wondering, what made you want to do a movie on this yeah. particular park? Oh, you, uh, well, it's an, it's an I, amazing I, place. Yes. Uh, uh, action, if I saw the, so my friend Derek Freda sent me the 14-minute documentary on the place. Right. And I, my mind was blown. I didn't know this place existed. And had the wonderful Gene Mulvihill was the owner. He's like, I don't want to hassle the kids with a bunch of rules. Let's leave safety up to them. And he did. <laughs> and you know, tell me about your experience there. Oh, it was fantastic. We made up the rules. There were no rules. I, You know, we did a show a while ago where I said it was like the wild, wild west of action parks. And there were no rules. And here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing, because I was going around as a teenager, and I was drinking beers, and I was hammered with all my friends. But the people who worked there, they, <laughs> no, Johnny, they were drunker than I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Lord of the Flies with weed and beer. 